New tonight, the Navy's newest warfighting aircraft is one step closer to being battle ready. The final phase of testing for the F 35C continued on board the USS George Washington today. And tonight, your side's Joe Fisher landed on that carrier and brings you this up close look. From 0 to 150 in three seconds. The F 35C is the Navy's newest combat aircraft. There's an amazing amount of technology in this airplane. That technology, part of what's still being tested before the Navy deems the fighter jet combat ready. 12 pilots from Oceana Base Fighter Squadron 101 put the jet to work Monday as part of a three week test period. The pilots catapulting off the USS George Washington. Also testing the arresting gear or the wires that help bring the plane to a safe stop. We target the three wire on board the ship every time and they were hitting it again and again and again. The F 35 C designed specifically to land on board a carrier will hopefully be ready by 2018. Just last month, the F 35 B launched for the Marine Corps. Last year, the Air Force unveiled the F 35 A. The Navy says the F-35 is replacing the legacy F-A-18 Hornet. Between the, the radar and some of the other sensors on board the airplane, you have 360 degree information coming in. That's, that's far different than any airplane we have right now. What's also different is the automated flight control system, Delta Flight Path. Navy officials say the system allows pilots to virtually be hands off during the landing, increasing safety and decreasing the workload on pilots. This is like going from a Cadillac to a BMW and you almost feel guilty. You're very self-conscious because it is that good. You're like, I, I, I'm supposed to work for this and I'm not working hard. At least 300 more tests are scheduled over the next three weeks. From there, engineers will work out any kinks, then a final product, a product the Navy hopes will put American forces two steps ahead of the enemy. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.